Hello, Kohais. It's been ages since my last art review. The last time I did art review, Corona is a popular beer. For those of you who don't know what art review is, it's basically just me reviewing and redrawing illustrations. So as I'm reviewing, I'll point out your mistakes and correct them. The reason why I didn't focus too much on this series before is because the views were terrible. And the amount of illustrations I received was less than the number of anime body pillows I own. Degenerate. But seriously, I really hope that more of you Kohais take part in this art review because most of the mistakes made by you guys are more or less the same. So, you get to learn and avoid the mistakes made by other Kohais. So, the first illustration. From what I can tell, this illustration is just a simple line art. Let's see, she's a cat girl and wears, um, a school uniform? Maybe it's a pajamas, I don't know. But first thing first, the eyes are mismatched and the eyebrows are missing. The anatomy is... Hmm... Acceptable? Oh... I see you're hiding the hands. Shantao. Oh, and the hair strokes are kinda choppy. You definitely need to work on your pen strokes. Now we know the problem, let's see how we can fix them. So this is my version of Neil Cat Girl in school uniform. The best gesture to portray Neil Cat Girl is definitely the Nyan Nyan gesture. Yes, I call it the Nyan Nyan gesture. Hand gesture plays Nyan important part in portraying Neil character's image Nyan feeling. Senpai, can you stop talking like that? It's very annoying. Ooh, nearly? I am Miaoi. <coughs> In this case, hiding the hands wouldn't be the best choice. That is why you should definitely learn how to draw the hands. And I have the right tutorial video just for you. All you need to do is click this box right here. So I've fixed the mismatched eyes and I've also modified the pupil so that the cat girl looks more cat-like. Besides, the hair is now smoother and cleaner in general. Now, let's move on to the next illustration. Okay, we've got another line art drawing. This girl is wearing an erotic Lolita outfit, I think, and she has a scythe as a weapon. She kinda looks like Maka from Soul Eater, but in Lolita uniform with a hint of Toga from My Hero Academia. Overall, I could say there's nothing wrong with this illustration. In fact, the anatomy is on point. Good job. The only problem is the pose. It's too stiff. Just like my 12 inch. Plus my TV with 4K HD resolution at the price of $69.69. $69. Based on the same character concept, look at this picture I found. Notice how her pose is more natural. That's because her right leg is rested behind her left leg. Besides, the slanted angle of the scythe further adds to the overall dynamic of the illustration. It feels more alive and less boring. As for this picture, the pose is too straight. So how can we fix the pose? So, this is my version of a scythe lolita. You can see the pose is not as stiff as before. That's because its line of action is now in an S shape. As a result, the character became sexy and hot instead. There's also more details being drawn on the clothes and the hair. Furthermore, instead of placing the scythe behind the character's back, I've moved the blade of the scythe closer to the camera, and this creates a more intimidating feeling. Alright, let's move on to the next one. For the next illustration, it's a girl with horns and big boobs. I think for this Kohai's level, it feels pretty complete, especially the boobs. Well done! I sure taught you well! <laughs> What's left to do is to refine and polish the illustration. Let's start with the shoulders. It's a little bit too round and I'm pretty sure our shoulders don't look like this. Alright, to the redraw version. So I made the character squeeze her boobs. This adds a little bit of playfulness to it, and she looks sexier and ara ara. Ooh, please let me with those giant milk jugs. Besides, the hair now has a more dynamic feel to it. Oh, and Kohais, please pay attention to the necklace. Not there, not there, up, further up, up. I'm guessing that you Kohais only draw two curves to represent the necklace and think you're done. But that is actually wrong, because the necklace tends to rest on our clavicle. So it should be following the shape of the clavicle instead. The necklace does not rest on a flat surface. Okay, let's move on to the next one. What do we have here? A digital illustration. Wait a second, what's that black yellow thingy? Hmm... Oh, so that's the hand. First thing first, the anatomy is way too off. Especially the part where the arm meets the hand. There's no connector at all. Without the connector, it's really hard to identify the hand. In this case, 
It's even harder because the clothes and the hands uses the same color. You will understand what I'm trying to say when you look at my version. So I fixed the pose and the gesture. I feel like it looks more natural if the hand is reaching out instead of holding something. Pay attention to the arm and the hand. This is the connector that I was talking about just now. You're definitely on the right track of portraying the perspective effect by drawing a large hand in front and a small body and head behind. But what's missing in your illustration is the connector. Also, when it comes to drawing black and dark themes, it's better to draw a backlight. I'm sorry that I'm not able to pull this off nicely because I've yet to master this technique. Please forgive me for my incompetence. <clears throat> With this technique, we are able to see the outline of the character clearly in a black and dark theme. I hope you learned something from this. Before I start, I want to say chibi style is actually outside of my expertise, but I'll try my best anyway. I think the body is a little bit too thick, and this makes the girl look fat. Well, maybe fat is what you're going for, then I have nothing to say. Apart from that, the head can be drawn bigger because one of the main characteristics of a chibi is an enlarged head. As for the shading and color, it's actually pretty good, not gonna lie. Next, the anatomy is on point as well. Alright, to the redraw version. So firstly, I have refined the shading. It's advisable to determine the location of the light source first because this could help you to decide where to apply shading and lighting. Take a look at this part. Why is the pants exposed to sunlight while the thigh is covered in shadow? It doesn't make sense. By having a light source in place, this problem could be averted. And also, I've changed the color from grayish green to purple for the clothes because it looks better with this color combination. Now, let's move on to the final illustration. Senpai, this Kohai draws better than you. <laughs> B Bakana. Adi and I. <laughs> I'm just kidding. This illustration is indeed good, and I believe that this Kohai is at least a level 3 user. But there's something you still need to work on. The shading, for example. Here, let me show you. Hmm. I prefer the previous one. This Kohai has a pretty good sense when it comes to shading, but I don't understand why you blur and smudge everything. Don't be afraid to choose a really dark color for shading and a really light color for highlights because it's really important to have a high contrast between these two opposite colors so that your illustration looks more 3D. As for the shading of the clothing foes, you definitely need to work on this one. Try to find some reference or you can watch my video here, just click this white box. I hope this episode of Art Review was helpful. Tell me which illustration has the biggest difference before and after in the comments below. I really hope I can continue this art review series. And if you want to submit your illustrations, you can either DM me on Twitter or post on the subreddit with the hashtag TeachMeSenpai. Oh, by the way, Kohais, we have finally reached 10,000 subscribers! Yattazo! Arigato mina! Thank you for all your support for the past two years. So to celebrate this milestone, I want to do a 10k Q&A section. So feel free to ask me anything you want to know. Senpai, what's your PP size? You can either comment down below, DM me on Twitter, or post on the subreddit. Send me your questions, and I'll answer them. Just no PP questions, please. 